It's all about fishing. It's all about hunting. It's all about the great outdoors. And it's all about outdoors with Captain Roy and Cheryl. Welcome aboard. And welcome aboard. Hey, we've got a lot going on. You've been on the water fishing a lot, and we've got a good fishing report from Guy Jody Wells. And you've been entertaining the Hobie Cat folks? Yep, yep. Still still trying to get all that edited. Hopefully I'll get that real soon. <laughs> we're out here at the, we're at the barn this morning. Yep, Bear Creek Lodge. Bear Creek Beautiful Lodge. day out today. And what a good did you, report. What, yeah, what did Jody say about the fishing in Lake Seminole? Jody says that large brim are starting to work the beds, be on them next full moon, he says. And he says that the bass are tearing it up, and he says the bass are hitting top water. Right. You know, uh, my son and I, went, John and I went down, and then my son and I, Kenny, went down the next day. We found a brim bed down in the, on the Apalachicola River. The uh, large bluegills were working the bed, those big old hand paints. And yeah. We, got, we, we shot some film and have that later. But the Jody said now that the small brim calls them yellow breast. The young brim, he said, now they, he found a bed in real shallow water and said there was a bunch of them on there, but they were less than hand side. They were on the bed. It's all picking up, Cheryl. Yeah, everything's and, picking up. And the Fresh bay, water and salt water. Bay fishing was doing good, and uh, we're going to show a couple of my trips. Yeah, we're going to show some of your trips. I think the first one we're, we're going to show with John Farr. Believe it, it or not, good John Farr. John <laughs> Farr back in town again. And the second one, and uh, we we'll probably won't have time to introduce it. Let's go ahead and introduce it now. Now, okay. It was an odd trip because I, the party was so big, they brought a boat down, Nick of Stone, and he, he had a large boat, and he brought some down and had them on his boat, and I had one of his party on my boat. And it's kind of hard to guide, and, and, and but hey, we had a good time, caught a lot of fish, and we'll do it again. So let's take a break and go fishing with John Farr first. Okay, sounds good. Southern Outdoor Sports, just off the circle on Hartford Highway in Dothan. We carry a large selection of guns, ammo, and reloading supplies from ground blinds, tree stands, camo clothing, and boots. For the fishermen, we have freshwater and saltwater tackle, rods, reels, and a large selection of lures. We are a dealer for Bimini Bay, Under Armour, Sims, and Orvis clothing. We are also an authorized dealer for Browning, Benelli, Big Green Egg, and Liberty Safe. Outdoor specialties since 1960. Sun Jammers and Hobie Mirage Kayak set the standard for on the water fun. Whether your passion is fishing, sailing, or recreational adventures, Hobie has a kayak for you. Hobie's Mirage Drive mimics nature's proven designs for effective, powerful propulsion to enhance your kayaking experience. Mirage Power, Mirage Performance, Mirage Drive. Hobie, enjoy the ride. Hobie kayaks are available at Sun Jammers Water Sports in Panama City Beach. DOA Lures, the unfair advantage. Mark Nichols molded the world's first plastic shrimp at his kitchen table in 1989. Today, DOA Lures offers four sizes of shrimp in 54 colors, along with a complete line of lures for both inshore and offshore use, as well as freshwater. And what I like the most about DOA Lures, they are American made. DOA Lures available at your local tackle retailer or go online at doalures.com. For everything you need on or off the water, visit the Panama City and St. Andrews Marinas. Both locations provide you with easy access boat slips, ramps, fuel, bait, and tackle. Come visit our ship stores and see our unique nautical gifts and clothing. Or just relax with a cool drink and grab a snack while watching the boats come in. Don't forget that Mariner on your shopping list. Come by and see our unique nautical gifts, cards, and clothing at the ship store at Panama City or St. Andrews Marina. Panama City and St. Andrews Marinas. Everything you remember and so much more. Captain John Farr, yes, Anderson, South Carolina. Good to have you back down here in God's country. Good, good to be here, it really is. Right? Glad to get back. Always a pleasure to take John fishing. John, you're going to start out fishing. A glow. A glow. 
DOA glue? Yeah. You, you would pick out one that I don't have, John. <laughs> well, I got plenty of them. I, I got an Arkansas glue, Arkansas uh, shad, I believe, glue, uh, the Arkansas glue shad. I'm going to start out with that see what we have. All right, John, we're over here in North Bay. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, that's not too bad a fish there, John. If I get him up here where I can see it. Yeah, yeah getting, a, getting a little bit better, but caught four or five gate pegs before yeah. we ever got one at any side. There would be another one out there. Got him, Captain Roy. Got him on there, John. Let's go. Come on up here, buddy. Yeah. There you go. Good, nice track. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Like to tell you, electric chicken. Yeah. You got one of those? I got a bunch of them. You might have to make me change, too. <laughs> John, you got a little better on this time, haven't you? Yes, sir. Feels good. Not a catfish, is it, John? <laughs> <laughs> you know, make up your mind which side of the boat you want to be on, can you? You can't make him go around on the other side so I can spin them, can you, John? That's right. You better put that one in the boat. That's a fine fish of some kind, John. They have a red on that. That is a fine trout there, brother John. What you came out here to catch? Fine hey now, somebody said I, they wanted me to start telling them how deep the water was where we caught these fish. But John, that one was in about 3.3 tenths of a foot. And uh, we caught him on an electric chick. John, he's popping that raw there. I expect he'll catch another one before it goes. Uh, John, you still like the electric chicken? Electric chicken, I'm liking it better and better. <laughs> hey, whatever they bite, that's what you want to fit there. Yeah, I got it on there, John. He's pretty good in there, isn't he? Yeah, that's a good one, Captain Roy. Nice fish. Okay. Both of them up there, John. Pretty trout. Just, pretty trout. Male trout. He's grunting. Just a fussing at me, yeah. <laughs> John, they're liking chicken today, aren't they? They sure are. <laughs> I like that chicken. How many you say that's what we've got? That's number 50 right there. Number 50. Oh, yeah. It's been a pretty good day. You got, you got, fish, you missed 51. <laughs> Get him on there again, Josh. How about a camp, Roy? Ah, John. I got that chicken eater. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, they like that chicken today. They do, they like that thing. Yeah. Sure. How many is that? That's 53 right there. 53. Nice trout, right. John. I knocked off a, for lunch there and you just kept fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I ate before you did. <laughs> Good fish. Yeah, I got him in there. Yeah, that's a pretty trout there, John. That's a, that's a pretty one. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah, that would keep. You want to measure? I'm gonna measure again. All right. There's the roof. Okay. He's 16 inches. He's 15 and a half. 15 and a half. Okay. <laughs> Here he goes again with another. I'm going to take his rod away from him here shortly. 
He got some kind. We don't know what it is yet. Big trout, I hope. That's a good trout. There big trout, big trout. Okay, Captain, wait a minute. I'll get the net. All right. Well, that is a big one there, John. Okay. Oh, get boy. him in the boat. Great day. Not tired yet. Where is it, Captain? Roll? There he is up there. Got it now. How about that one, John? That's a good one there, Captain Roy. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. That, that is a pretty fish. Trout. That's a fine trout. Yes, sir. Let's put them back. <laughs> Another there, Captain Roy. Got one coming there, John. Well, you won't get in the boat. There he's in the net. I got him, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good job filming me, John. I, I appreciate <laughs> I, that. That's what I told you a minute ago. You're going to call this the Captain Roy and Captain Roy show. <laughs> <laughs> good try. John, that is a good trout. That is a pretty trout. That's the first one we've caught all day. That's a nice one. And I mean, he swallowed it too. Swallowed it, huh? Yeah. Well, John, you can't throw him back. Man. If you huh? if you got swallowed it, you're not going to be able to throw him back. John said he's going to throw that old big one back. I think it's a big female. Yeah, I, I can't throw it back now because it's you know, not in the I know you can't. Yeah. John, What's that bleed? Your thumb? Yeah, she, she turned around and she got my thumb in her mouth. Uh-huh. She paid you back, didn't she? She did. Okay, Captain Roy. <laughs> I don't know Let's what it is. Let's see what it is. is. I, I believe it's a red fish, man. That's what I'm thinking it is. I hope it ain't another thing with whiskers. <laughs> no, this is going to be a big, nice red fish here, John. Okay. I can't tell. I saw it, but I couldn't tell. It's a trout. That's a trout, Captain Roy. Good trout. How about that one, John? That'll work, Captain Roy. That'll work. <laughs> that a fine trout? That is that a fine, fine trout? trout. Yes, sir. Really. I can get her out here. Yes, sir. That's a good one there. <laughs> Fine trap. I got gotcha. you. John? Sir? That's your limit and trout. Yes, sir. And you caught a total of? 104. 104. Yes, sir. Pretty good day, right? Pretty good day. <laughs> <laughs> been, been a while since you and I had a day that good, John. That's we've, true. That's true. We've had a bunch I of good ones. I told you if we got into them, I was going to make them pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a fine bunch of fish there, John. I All enjoyed right. it. I tell you, I enjoyed it. I did too. How many times have you heard the big ones are in shallow water or there are more squirrels than you can shake a stick at way up the river? But the problem is you can't get there with your propeller-driven outboard. Meet Joe Riley, Problem Solver, and the Tahatsu Jet Drive Outboard. With Tahatsu's Jet Drive, you can get where no man, or should I say, no outboard has ever been. With stick-steering power, Tahatsu Jet Drive, and a rhino boat, you can show your fishing and hunting buddies you mean business. See them at Joe's Motor Service, Hartford, Alabama, near Dothan. No one can seem to get Georgia to reveal her secret to catching those big redfish. So we placed a series of hidden cameras on Stan and Georgia's boat to try to find out her secret. Stan, this looks like a good spot right here. So you think this is a spot? I know it is. Okay, well I'll get the trolling motor ready and we'll get started. You never cease to amaze me, baby. Stan, stop! 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 Stan
stuff. It's good on everything. Check all the stuff in your pantry. If you don't see any stand stuff, it ain't complete. Leo Preby. Leo, you are from? Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. Home of the Chicago Blackhawks. <laughs> I'm going to say Chicago Cubs. <laughs> a baseball fan. And I kind of got an unusual trip today. Leo, he's on the boat with me. But that boat right there is also with me. I'm guiding him. And I've got to, he's got a big boat. I've got to try to keep him off the shoreline. And y'all need to, so I come over here on this, this side here, we're gonna start drifting across here, see if we get some speckle trout. And uh, I'll introduce those folks. You got uh, Nick Ashton. Nick a stone, a stone. A stone, I, I can't, it's hard for me to pronounce that. Larry Preby. Larry, that's your twin brother. Twin brother, the ugly one. <laughs> and Ron Shooties from Marco Island. Okay, got three folks on the boat there. Let's give it a shot here, folks. Now, number one, Leo. Right, number one, we got him. Yeah, you did a good job getting that <laughs> fish for me. Yeah, I only missed him twice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my other boat's too far out there. Can you signal to come in a little bit closer? That's that not a good sign, though, it's on the first cast. <laughs> All right, get out there and catch us another one, Leo. Yeah. Yeah, He's just easy, more. Swing him around. Uh oh. He's going to have to go back anyway. Right? <laughs> well, you got into the boat anyway. We'll count yeah, him. Yeah, we'll count uh, Leo. Okay, thank you. I see my other boat over there caught one. Got him in. Well, I got one on, on here too, Leo. Now, if you, I've got to quit this now because I come back tomorrow. You may not, so you better start catching one. I'm going to. Yeah, let me get Better get the net on that one. Trying to get the net. Stick him on a little bit further than I'll net him for you. Oh. oh. A little bit more. Swing him this way a little bit. Now oh, I got him in the net. Oh, Leo. <laughs> He's got a central nervous system. How about system. that one? All right. Looking good. Pretty fish, aren't they? Very Leo? pretty fish. I'm going to name that after my oldest grandson, Jackson. <laughs> okay, Jackson, that's it. All right. You brought the Blackhawks good luck this night, Jackson. Five to two win for Chicago. <laughs> that one. I believe you may have a red on there. Leo, as long as you got his rod bent, we got a chance. Get away from that boat. Let him run, Leo. Get, get away from the boat here with him. I think it is. Oh, oh, nice big, speck. Big, big trout. trout. Here, let me get my net around big here. Trout. All right, bring him around. Oh, that's fine. And we got him. Whoa! Oh, look at that, baby. That's what I like to see you catch. Here. Chicago Hill. That's Hill. what I like to see you catch. Here. That's that, a fine trout. That is a beauty. All right. Probably, we got a good picture on now, Leo, that is a nice trout. That is a beauty. I love it. Mm. Beautiful trout. Let's Beautiful. catch another one. Okay. What you got there, Leo? Speck. A speck? He's a big one then. Hold him right. Let me get my net. Hold on. Oh, what a speck. Ah. Oh, wow. Good job, Roy. <laughs> Now that's all we can keep that size in, yeah. in the box. That, that, that's a beauty, Roy. That's, that's, that's yours. Beauty. I'm holding a rod, but I did not earn it. <laughs> that is Captain Roy's you beautiful see, speck. He found another one about 20 inches, so that's all. If you want to keep out, that's about all we can keep that size. Yeah. Okay. All right, Let's Nick. See. Hold him up. Okay. Captain Roy's fish. This is not <laughs> Leo's. I'm just holding them for demonstration. Oh, that's pretty one. That is. Give him a kiss here. Oh, we can't keep another one that size, but we'll put that one in the box if you want it. Yes, we will. All right. Foul hook. No, no. No, you got it. He got it. I thought you had a foul hook there, but yeah. Uh, that one will hang on the wall there. <laughs> 
All you can say about him, Bill, he was a truck back of crowd. Got specs on him. Yeah. So you like the size of that one there, do you? Yeah. Leo, that is, that's a fine trout. That is a beauty. I don't know what our partners are doing out there. <laughs> I call them they're them not them. following it, tell them they're not following instructions. Yeah. Let me get this big old trout off here. I'm trying to get this <laughs> all this fish in the picture. I don't know what I can or not. That's fine trout. Hey, one more pretty trout. Hello, Larry. Turn to the right if that's your boat. I only see one boat. Can you see a boat? We're we're on your right. Turn. Turn to your right and come toward us. I don't believe that's that we've lost our partners. And I don't believe that's them. Well, Roy doesn't think... Leo? Yes. Have you enjoyed the day? We had a wonderful day. Thank you, Mr. Captain Roy. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was caught, uh, wasn't the best bite that I've ever had, but uh, we caught some nice trout. Yes, yes, we did. We had a lot of action. Yeah. My wrist is sore. <laughs> You're going to have to go back to Chicago. Yeah, well, a couple more days. You reckon the snow's over up there? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's over. <laughs> I think it's over. Well, maybe it is, but when you come back down here, give me a call and we'll go fishing. Sure will. Tell you what I like about corn. I like the food, I like the price, I like the quality, I like the quantity of it. But what I like most about corn steak and eggs is I like that friendly atmosphere that I always find when I down out there. It's all operated by Linda and Willie Corn. They are the original and they're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they're breakfast out of this world. And my favorite is the world famous Coral Heavenly Hat. Corn steak and egg, 804 South Tyndall Parkway. The Register Meat Company was founded over 71 years ago by Pappy Register. Register's premier product is their country-style sausage. It is 100% pure pork and hog casings with their secret seasonings. It's packaged in mild hot and I mean hot. Their sugar cure bacon is smoked for hours. And Register's premium hams are pumped with their special ham pump. If you're in the Cottondale area, stop by their country store and ask about their Pick 5 program and their veggie bushel. Look for Register's Meats at your local grocery. Hi, this is Nate with Mexico Beach Marina. Remember, we're a key dealer for Yamaha Outboards as well as a five-star certified service department. Dealer for Edgewater Power Boats. Our marina store still offers all your latest tackle, live bait, bulk ice, ethanol free fuel, and slip rentals. And our beach store has everything you need for your day at the beach with Guy Harvey, Salt Life, Sperry, Top Slider, Hook and Tackle, Bimini Bay, and much more. You can check out our website at MexicoBeachMarina.com. Check out our Facebook page. So come on down to beautiful Mexico Beach and come on in and say hi. Sun Jammers and Hobie Kayak provide the ultimate lightweight fishing platforms that will offer anyone what they need when it comes time to hit the water. Hobie Kayak's commitment to innovation, quality, and owner satisfaction is unparalleled in the industry, and the service and selection provided by Sun Jammers Water Sports is top notch. So when it's time for you to go kayak fishing, there's only two names you need to remember. Sun Jammers Water Sports and Hobie Kayaks. Sun Jammers Water Sports is located on the west end of Panama City Beach and online at sunjammers.com.
Captain War, you guys had some good fishing, didn't you? That was a nice trout that that fella caught. You yeah. guys really got onto them. We really did. Fish has been good in the bay. Yeah. And it always is in April. The uh, folks, the large trout are coming out hunting a place to spawn. Of course, they've wintered and they're hungry. And usually they bunch up a little tighter in April in the first part of May than they do later on. And uh, we caught them with some nice redfish, yeah. too. Hey, listen, I want to show this picture. You know how you're always catching trout. Look at this <laughs> picture right here. This is Cat Moore with a nice big redfish. Now, that trip was with, what, Ron, I believe. You caught that big redfish. I can't remember. Okay. Sure. Well, They're I know all run we together. We caught one that was, uh, I think it was a couple of, maybe three that you'll see. It's just all there on the film. I can't even remember. But <laughs> the largest one there was about 32 inches. Wow. Took about... 10 minutes put that red fish in the boat. That's a big red fish. Uh, hey, That's nice. We enjoyed it. And uh, Cheryl, I've got uh, an electric, that electric boat that you've been seeing us advertise from uh, Joe's Motor Service up in Hartford, yeah. Alabama. And uh, Joe sent one down here. It's all rigged up. And uh, I'm going to be fishing that some this summer for a month or so. Fly fishing. It's, it's a beautiful boat, and uh, the electric motor is a nine and a half horse motor, and it's mounted on a Rhino boat. That's a once in a lifetime boat. You don't. If you buy a Rhino boat, you don't. You won't ever have to buy another one. You never wear that hull out. And uh, they, he built that boat designed for this electric motor. So if you are interested in it and want to want to view it and want to see the boat, if you give me a call. Uh, and, and line it, make sure I'm here. We're lined up and, and you can come up and, and see the boat. I've got it at my house. And uh, my number, of course, is 722-9382. Yep. And uh, you can you can see the boat. Yep. Sure, right now I'm trying to keep me an updated fishing report and uh, you can find that on our webpage. Right, go to CaptainRoy.com for the webpage and it's got your fishing report on it. It's got the weather forecast on it. Um, you can go to YouTube on it, Facebook, all of it. So. And it's got the rivers on there. Right now people are interested in the rivers because of freshwater fishing is picking up and uh, you can get the river levels, you can get a hydrograph of the forecast for five days what the rivers are going to be in different locations so it's, it's a good tool to have and you can also click on fish biting that's the, right the forecast, fishing times find out when when they're, when they're biting so vi visit uh, our web page and also we're going to be drawing uh, for in our sweepstakes mm -hmm. and I've been giving away a fishing trip and our director's giving us a wind up tell them how to go to our Email us at outdoors at captainroy.com to enter the sweepstakes. And I guess we are out of time, aren't we? Once again. You can call me also, 722-9382. Right. And y'all remember to tune in next Saturday at the same time. And remember to always. Try to be as good to him as he is to you. Good day. Time to wrap it up and go to the barn. <laughs>